Well, I guess I'm going to start recording now. I just dug up some deep Versace glasses right here. Deep sucker, man. They look like they're prescription glasses. Uh, shoot, my wife might be able to wear these if it's the right, right size. Uh, it's the right strength. I don't know. This is the second pair of Versace glasses that I've found on the beach. So yeah, I got I had the headphones on. I had the headphones on. And I'm just doing like a little hunt. I didn't know if I was gonna record today or not. And then I was hitting targets and I said, you know what? I better I better start recording. But we got a we got a bunch of change, man. Bunch of change, bunch of quarters, toy cars, gl glasses now. And the tide's already coming in, it's low tide, but I didn't feel like wearing shorts and putting on foot flops and uh, sand shoes and all that. Sh I was like, let me just go out here and hit, hit this work. Look, I haven't been to Redondo Beach for a while. Uh, EMI isn't too bad. I have my machine turned up to 92. But wish me luck. I'll start recording now. Now we got a beach hunt. It is home, but it's coming in. And uh, I'll dig it. It's, it has a little bit of an iron uh, finish to it. Like I raise my coil high. I like to dig knives also, so I'll dig like larger iron. Sometimes those are earrings like right on top. It might just be a bottle cap, nasty rusty bottle cap. Yeah, it's an odd size shaped bottle cap. It's kind of giving like a drag, dragged out uh, tone a little bit. I'll check them out once in a while. Like those larger, larger recovery bottle cap tones. Getting an 80 coming in. It's a weird tone. 82. I don't even see it. And my eyes are trying to focus. Oh, no wonder. I thought it was a zinc honey. Is that part of, uh, I don't know, it might just be off of uh, like the pier or something like that. Lifeguard station. Hardware. All right, well, let's move on. There's this part of the beach has tons of bottle caps, so probably gonna end up digging quite a few bottle caps, but it's okay, I got quite a quite a bit of change. Surprised how many deep quarters I've dug up already. One coming in right now. Fortunately I did not wear the right beach attire. I'm gonna call it that. I was mostly just gonna hit the dry sand, but I don't know there's gonna be so many coins to targets here. Dug a tons of quarters, man. Must have had a good wash down. The sand, looks like we had some sand movement. Flattened out a little bit. But I just fill my hole in. Oh well. Let's see what we can do today here. I was really just want to hit the dry sand, but a couple of areas I always hit when I'm in Redondo. And you can hear my EMI coming through. This beach has like the worst EMI. But today I'm hunting in the, the most sensitive program, the deepest program that Dave's um, recommends using for the beach. That's uh beach sensitive so I'm in that program I'm getting a little chatter I can try to ground bounce again I mean I can try to I can try a noise cancel again but it's not going to do much I just ignore the EMI that's what I do 
Like Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, I don't really get any EMI. Loud 62 coming in. Nice target response. Let's hope it doesn't turn to iron. <laughs> 61, solid. When I start digging hot rocks, then I know. Oh, it's probably one of those. Oh, I, th I thought it was gonna be a crappy sink. Is it a sink? No. Yeah, it's one of those aluminum washers. Now though, that sucker was loud. All right, let me fill my hole and then we'll uh, move on. I kept getting a target coming here. Sounds a little bit louder. Maybe a can or something, I don't know. Part of a cell phone battery. Huh. Alright, we got a 93, 94 coming in. Might just be a coin, I don't know. I think I actually see it. Yeah. Oh, it's a quarter. Okay. Probably a quarter on the, on the edge. It's coming in like 92, I believe. Oh, that's cool. We'll take it. Take that damn thing. All right. Tons of quarters today. 91. Where are you? Can't hide for much longer. There it is. Uh, damn. Alright. Oh, that one's been getting tumbled a little bit. That's good. Less work for me. The beach groomer hasn't come there yet. I should try to hit the dry sand a little bit before it comes down here. But we'll see what happens. Hey, we're getting a loud 61 coming in. I am getting an EMI coming through. Sorry about that, but... This is how this beach is. 61, loud. It's jumpy. But I did disturb, disturb it a little bit. Damn, whatever this is, it's loud. What if it's a can? Oh no. I haven't dug those up for a while. Capri Sun juice pack? Gotta get them juice packs, man. Juice pack attack. Gotta fill this in a little bit. Best I can. 
Yeah, we got the old uh, old juice pack attack. All right, move on. It's a 95 coming in. Good number. Oh, shoot. First scoop. Another quarter. Man, we are just killing on the quarters today. We're just doing a mighty fine job. The reason my hands are black also too, I need to cut these off. These are starting to lose their, uh, the color dye is starting to wear off. I need to take these grips off. This gives me, you know, helps me grip against the uh, carbon fiber. I have to buy a couple new ones now. Okay, we got a 92 coming in. Maybe a coin. One scooper, nice. I just love those, man. This day has put me to work, I'm telling you. All right, nice, another quarter. This day is really, XPV2 really put me to work this morning, man. Tons of coins over here. But I wish I could have got a little bit more in the water. Well, anyways, I didn't bring my antenna anyway. So it's not like we could have been that effective. But, I mean, you can put this in, in the water. I think it said in the book, maybe maybe a few centimeters and it'll still get a signal coming through. But, I'd rather get out there a little bit. There's uh, one spot I like to hunt always in the water here in Redondo Beach. All right, get you on the next target. There are just coins everywhere. So we had some, definitely had some sand movement. So getting a 90 coming in. Machine makes it work. The original Deus was like like that awesome man. That thing targets deep. Make it work. That time's been here for a long time. So yeah, it, it must have loosened up. Whatever was uh, sanded in here before, this beach has been sanded in for a good month or two. Just, just by luck, I, I said, ah, let me go out today. Just check it out. I haven't been over here. I'm mostly using the dais on other beaches. Only because there's a lot of EMI in this beach, but there's a zinc penny right there. It's laying right on edge. Oh, well, part of it, not even a full zinc. I think came in loud too. Fifty-two. There's the other part of it. Does that count as two pennies? Shoot, man. All right. Well, I'm just trying to see if a ring got thrown up here. Sometimes those uh, rings will get stuck in a rock and they'll get thrown on top. Or the chains will wrap around uh, stuff also. I've seen that on the beach. I dug a ring and there's a rock stuck right in the middle. And I was like, oh, dude, 94 coming in. Let's dig it up. We got it. I think it's a quarter. 
Well, I just throw it out. <laughs> there it is. I got a little too aggressive with my shaking. Whole lot of shaking going on. Done, done. Here we go. Another quarter. I just gotta love them quarters, man. Solid 81 coming in. I wonder if it's going to be like a screw cap or something. <laughs> what is that? Not a screw cap. Um, hmm. Is that jewelry or part of a light bulb? Remember those old light bulbs you used to screw in? I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Anything for me to look at, you know. Scrap copper, me. Well, we got something coming. I don't know if I'll be able to get this one because the tide's coming up pretty fast. Oh, all right, never mind. It's in the 70s. Yeah, the zincs read all over on this beach. They read even worse in Manhattan. Manhattan Beach is the mineralization from that sand, man. It just eats those pennies up. Well, can't really get to the spot I want to, but. Solid 63. Maybe a fool's tap. For all you fools out there. Sixty-three, sixty-four. Whew, that nickel was wild, man. Seeing <laughs> his nickels deep and mild. Just the way we want them. Fifty-six. Shall we dig it? Sounds like a smaller. Look like a washer or something. Well, there it is. Small piece of aluminum. Targets everywhere, man. This sounds like iron. Something. Wide. Whoa, excuse me. Look at that. Yeah, the tide's definitely coming in. I don't know if I'll be able to get this one. I think that's just deep iron. Yeah, it's giving me that iron tone now. There it is. Probably something off the pier. 
tone coming in. It's 89.90. If uh, these numbers even matter, I don't even know. I just do this because I have three machines that I that I own. I have the XP days now too. Um, CTX and Equinox, so got a lot of numbers floating around up there. <laughs> so when I say the number on uh, on video, it's almost like you're, you're retraining yourself, also. Because yeah, we know like the 89, 90s, 91, 92 are going to be in that range of. Uh, dime copper penny what i'm looking at is is the consistency of the, the vdi the zinc pennies forget about it yours are all over the place every machine you just can't get around them and you have to dig them because they rig up like gold also Like the really crusty, that's an 84, I'm gonna leave it. That's a zinc, most likely. That's a 6.7, I'm getting it with the iron buzz at the end. But it's right on top. So, you know. Might as well just check it out. A nail or a bobby pin? Can't even tell. Yeah, let's see what it is. Probably a nail. I can tell you one thing that XP Days 2 makes you go to work, man. Today's my day off from work. I feel like I already worked a few days. Good beach hunt, though. We dug a ton of coins. Uh, catch you on the wrap up. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, let's take a look at everything we found on the beach today. A lot of targets. A ton of targets. I actually was worn out after this hunt. All the bottle caps. Look at all the zinc pennies. I mean, there must be over probably over 30 zinc pennies right there there's all the trash we found yeah overall just a, a complete beach hunt you know we got the trash the treasure uh, highlight of the dig yeah of the hunt maybe the quarters we did all right on the quarters right there look at that laundry money all right thank you for watching have a good day talk to you later bye Thanks again guys for joining me on another beach hunt. Uh, I'm worn out after that hunt. Hit targets everywhere. Uh, from experience, I mean you can go from time to time and not hit a target for like 20-30 minutes in the kind of like the wet sand. Now Redondo Beach always has a ton of targets and uh, it'll wear you out. But the problem with Redondo Beach is tons of bottle caps everywhere. Uh, that's my only regret about Redondo Beach, how trashy they treat that place. I mean, the amount of trash they leave behind. But, who knows, maybe one day people will take care of the beach a little bit better. But, at least we do our part, we take trash out the beach. So, good job to everybody out there. Um, talk to you later on the next beach hunt. Probably in a next weekend we'll get more uh, more videos out. I don't know. I'll talk to you later. Bye.